Hello everyone, welcome to Thief Deadly Shadows, which for simplicity's sake I'm going to call Thief 3. So, um, just like for Thief 1 and 2, I'm using a community-made fix. What the hell? Okay, apparently if you idle in the menu, something comes up. Cry, brethren, for the betrayer is come. Your hands will... Okay, fine, just disappear before I read it. That's okay, too. What the hell is this? I didn't start the game. Uh, okay, enjoy the movie. I'll be back in a second. That was a bit strange. Anyway, like I was saying, um, I'm using a community-made fix pack um, for this, just like I did for Thief 1 and 2. Um, what's this one called? It's called, like, S Thief 3 Sneaky Upgrade or something like that. Anyway, the link will be in the description if you want it. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm still surprised and... I find it so awesome that there's so many community fixes for all of the Thief games. They just improve them so much. I... It really is amazing. The stuff the modding community does for games. Oh no, oh no, don't play it again, fuck you. <laughs> it's just great how the community... ...loves the games so much that they make them... ...work or work better or look better and just be better in every way on newer computers. It's so cool. So anyway, this one, it's actually not as extensive as the past patches. Not at all. Actually, I think the only thing it basically does is it adds, supports for wi it adds support for widescreen resolutions. And um, it also has some sort of a multi-core fix. I guess this game had problems with multi-core systems. And I think that's basically it. For the most part. It also has some like fan mission stuff, but I I'm not interested in that, so that's not really relevant to me. Anyway, so, a big thing on my mind is how Thief 3 compares to the previous games. Because I know that this game also came out on... What was it, Xbox? It came out on at least, at least one console. So I'm definitely worried that it's going to be, you know, a shitty console port. And simplified and dumbed down. And I definitely have some initial concerns about that, just based on what I see in the menu. Like, for example, the menu is really freaking shitty, and it's tiny, and it looks like it's made for a console. And also, there are way less controls than there were in the first two Thieves. Thief 1 and 2 had like a hundred controls, this one has a couple dozen. So, we'll see what they did. I really hope they didn't dumb it down. I suspect they did, but I hope they didn't. Anyway, I haven't actually run the game yet, so let's hope it works. Here we go. I got a tip last night from my fence. Heartless Perry. A nobleman named Lord Julian had some sort of quarrel, and showed up at a local inn well after nightfall, and in a foul mood. He's carrying a velvet bag, about the size of a man's fist, and it never leaves his sight. Sounds likely to be valuable, but I'll know for sure when I steal it from him. Perry sent over a floor plan of the place, 
the Blue Heron Inn. Finding his lordship won't be hard. His room number will be in the guest register, if I can get to the front desk to read it. The inn will have guards, but not as many as a private estate. That should make things easy, which is one of the reasons I'm willing to try it without knowing for sure what the take will be. Lord Julian is so protective of that bag. There's got to be something of value in it. All right, so what do we have here? Looks like it's the mission briefing screen. The new version of it. Briefing difficulty, so I guess you can... Oh, interesting. Actually, it, like, breaks down... Are these my goals? Oh, actually, I can't select anything but normal. So I think these are my goals. Wait, hold on. I'm not exactly sure what this means. It says steal at least 40% of the loot in this mission. But that's not actually one of my goals listed here. So if that's not a goal, then what is that? I don't know. But anyway, number of opponents and their sensory acuteness and all that stuff is all normal. So sounds good. I get into the inn. Read the uh, list of where people are staying, find out which room he's in, and steal it. And then get the hell out. Pretty simple. Alright, what do I have to work with? <laughs> I've got my good old trusty blackjack. I've got my dagger, which I will not use. And I have ten water arrows. Okay, pretty cool. By the way, I'm pretty sure this is papyrus, isn't this? The font? Which is like the most overused font in the world. Ugh. Yep, sneak up behind an opponent who's not alert and hit them on the back of the head. Alright, just like Thief 1 and 2. <laughs> you know, I just realized, this is a dagger. How bizarre, in the, first, in the first two games, you never had a dagger, you only had a sword. But now that I think about it, doesn't it make more sense for a thief to have a dagger instead of a sword? I mean, thieves and daggers, that just goes hand in hand, right? Why did he have a sword in the first two? Now that I think about it, that seems kind of over the top. Hmm. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be using it. Alright, let's go. My first mission. And it crashed. Shit. Okay, this is not a good start. I will be right back, and hopefully I can fix this. Okay, welcome back. Um, my first experience of this game, from a... Well, both a... Mainly from a technical perspective, is freaking horrible. Alright, let me go to the menu. <laughs> Alright, um... The game just kept crashing every time I tried to start a new game. So I uninstalled the patch, and then ran the game. Started it up, made a new game, and it worked this time. And then I saved the game, reinstalled the patch, and loaded that save game, and it works. So with the patch, starting a new game was broken, but loading into it is not. Okay, so that's one of the strange things. The other... Th some other things I discovered while messing around with this is that when loading into the mission, my FPS indicator disappears. Like, there's nothing for Fraps to hook into, which makes me suspect that next time I start a new mission, assuming it doesn't crash again, it's probably going to stop the recording, which means every single time I start a new mission, I'm going to have to resync the video to the audio, which is going to be a joy. Also, while messing around in the menus, I discovered that they're fucking terrible. This menu system is a nightmare. Like, let's say I want to go to the options. Gotta press escape. And you get this shitty menu. And then you press title menu. And then you go to the options. And then you have this menu again. And then you go back. And then you go back to the game. Oh my god. Also, the game runs like shit, for some reason, when I'm recording. 
my FPS went from 70 to 30. Which might look fine when you're watching it, but playing it, it doesn't feel all that great. In fact, when I look this direction, when I looked back here, I was getting like 400 FPS. But for some reason, I'm stuck on 30. And by the way, I have V-Sync off. I don't know why. I've never, ever, ever seen a game do that before. Okay, some other things I've discovered, just, just from standing right here and not even really moving, is that the movement is funky. Okay, you can see your body, but when moving around, it feels like you're kind of like teleporting and... It feels like you're an animatronic machine. That's uncomfortably and bizarrely trying to mimic human movements. I mean, look at when I move. It's not smooth. It's all, it's all hitchy. Look at that. Like, what the fuck? It's like your camera is tied to your character and his animations, and the character's animations are all fucked up. Here's my lean. Actually, that lean's pretty good. Oh, yeah, that, that lean is nice and smooth. And look at the jump. Like, what the fuck is this? That's the chunkiest, shittiest looking jump ever. Camera looks like it's fucking teleporting. And this movement is horrible. Ugh, look at that. It's just... Ugh. I... My first impressions are terrible, and if I continue to have technical issues, like if... If I have to uninstall the patch, start the next mission every single time, and then reinstall the patch to get it to work, and then load the save game, and resync the video every time, no fucking way. No. I suppose I could uninstall the patch and just not run this game in widescreen, but to that, I also say, fuck it. So my first impressions are terrible. And there's a significant chance I'm not even going to continue to play the game, but... For now, let's play the mission, and let's just see what happens. And here, I, I will say one, one positive thing about Thief 3 over the previous games. The compass is now combined with the light gem. Look at that down there. That is a thing of beauty. I don't, I, I can't even count the number of times that I just cycle through a hundred, oh, okay. <laughs> cycle through all my inventory items trying to find the fucking compass. So... Combining it with the light gem is a brilliant idea. Thank you. So they've done one thing right. Alright, what do I have? You know what? Screw the scroll wheel. I'm going to use the numbers. Blackjack, dagger... Alright, cool. Huh. That's interesting. You can't really see the blackjack normally unless you actually attack kind of gets it out of your view, which actually isn't a bad idea. Kind of frees it up so you can, well, see more. Okay, so this is the tutorial mission, so it's leading me by the hand. Alright, what do you want me to do next? Oh, did you hear something? Did you? Mm, nothing. Not even sure I heard what I heard. Oh, also another unfortunate technical thing about this is that uh, I can't enable EAX. Or, what is it? It is EAX, right? Um, audio video... Yeah, I can't enable EAX, unfortunately. I think the patches for the previous two thieves included some sort of a... Was it like open AL whatever emulator thingamajig? Anyway, they seem to have that rolled into it. So that you could just enable EAX, but unfortunately the patch does not seem to do anything with the audio, so I can't enable this. Alright, so how do I crouch? Because I'm I'm pressing control and nothing's happening. Go back into the terrible menu and look at the controls. Interact, right mouse, use weapon, left mouse, okay. Wait. Is there no crouch?
Really? Really? Quick save is F10? Really? How about no? No, no I don't want a fucking left mouse. Default. F5. No. How? Okay, there's, like, no way for me to clear? Okay, I guess I'll just set the default to clear that stupid thing. <sighs> F5. F9. There, sensible options. Okay, creep. Wait. Creep is control, but I was pressing that. It wasn't working. Up arrow, down arrow for zoom in, zoom out. Uh, nope. Let's set it back to how it was in Thief 2. Minus and equals. Huh. It's actually not a bad idea. Wait. Change perspective? Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Crouch is X. What is control? Oh, creep. Slow movement. Hmm. Should I set that back to what it was in Thief 2? Yes. Set it back to tab, and I will set this fucking crouch to X? What the hell were they thinking? How about no? Actually... Wait, is that a crouch toggle or not? I don't know if it's toggle... Uh, I'll find out, whatever. There's a wall flatten. Okay, it's interesting. Alright, let's test out these controls. This is the <laughs> super hitchy, fucked up looking walk. This is creep. Okay, control is a toggle. I mean, crouch is a toggle. Good. Okay. Can't watch in every direction. Not every direction. Not all the time. One day you're looking the wrong way. They can get you. Oh, yes, they do. I'm gonna get you. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm probably just gonna skip past him. Yeah. Alright, so at the moment, it looks like there's about as many movement options as there were in the first two thieves. I mean, you have. You have walk. Or, no, no, you have run. You have walk. And then you have uh, creep. Which is, I think, just as many as there were in the first two. Wait a minute. Is walk and creep any different? Hold on. This is walk. This is creep. Walk. Creep. They look the same. Walk. Creep. Okay, that's different. Wait, no, wait. Hold on. Walk. Creep. Is walk and creep the same thing? Are you kidding me? Whatever. Alright, quick save. To be a thief, you must learn to use stealth when you hide- yeah, okay. I just played Thief 1 and 2, I think I've got this. The light gem, yep, crouching, moving slowly, yep, yep, yep. The guard will not see if you remain in darkness, okay. You mean I- I stay in the dark to remain unseen? Okay, let's test this. In the original Two Thieves, the guards seem to have, like, 200 degree vision. Let's see if they do in this game. Can't watch in every direction. Not every direction. All the time. <laughs> okay, I failed it. Alright. But no, they do not have vision that goes that far. Yeah, this is walk. This is creep. Maybe it's slightly slower. It doesn't really look like it. I don't know. Whatever. A few more afternoons at the practice yard. Oh wait a minute! I'm actually getting 60 FPS now. That's nice. Let's test that light gem.
Okay. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to have a hard time enjoying the game now with all of these technical issues. They've kind of... The technical issues piss me off. It's kind of soured. I think it's souring my experience of this game in the beginning. They'll be on patrols, looking for intruders. Yep, yep, yep. Observe. Careful timing. Okay. Wait, does this game have grappling? I'm assuming it does. And just gonna slip past him. Alright, he's coming back. Yeah, turn the other way. Alright, you make sounds. Move quietly. Yep. Loud surfaces. Alright, you can creep quietly by holding down tab. Or you can just hold down shift, because walk and creep are apparently the same thing. Okay, objectives. Mm-hmm. Alright. You have objectives and you need to crouch to get into low places. Pretty simple. That sounded like the exact sound effect from Thief 1 and 2. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so in Thief 3, um... The physics are a little bit more realistic, because the original game, if I moved that at all, I would have just, like, budged it. But that time, it actually rolled. Alright, I've got to be careful with that. You can use some objects by positioning them in the center of your screen. Press the right mouse to use. Alright, same as Thief. Same as Thief 1 and 2. You don't actually surprise me. I was surprised that in Thief 1 and 2 you couldn't put out torches by going up to them. Like, I mean, that it might be a bit dangerous, but could you, like, spit in the torch or something? No, nah, you'd need more liquid. You know, I was thinking so that water arrows wouldn't be the only way you can put out torches. Like, if you actually managed to get up to them, you could put them out somehow, but really, how would you do that? Nah, you need a lot of liquid to put it out. Or maybe some sort of, like, a heavy, fireproof cloth to put over it to put it out. I don't know. Might be a neat feature. Okay, let's see... Let's see if we can listen in to the door. Uh, I'm not hearing anything. Not sure if you can do that. Alright. Use your water arrows to extinguish extinguish torches. Mm-hmm. Alright, same as in the original. <laughs> That's even the exact same no noise. Oh, okay, I think I have infinite. Alright, simple enough. Well, the draw of the bow is definitely faster. It's interesting, though. It kind of looks like he's aiming at the top left of the screen, but it goes towards the center. That doesn't make any sense at all. He's aiming at the top left of the screen. Like, this should hit the pillar. 
but it goes straight. Even though he's not aiming straight. What? Okay, that's bizarre. Alright, climb over them using space. Alright, let's see if the grapple system is in. <laughs> it is! Yeah. <laughs> okay, well... What? <laughs> okay, apparently I failed that. One of my big complaints of the first two games appears to not be fixed, but another one is. Okay, when I grapple over this, I don't clomp around like a horse. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> it is nice and silent, which is good, but unfortunately you uncrouch when you get on top, which is annoying. <laughs> Please try again. Alright, I'll do it for real. Calm down. <laughs> okay, and yeah, it looks like... If you crouch... Let me see. If you crouch and you fall, do you stand up? You do? Oh, come on. Is it really that hard to keep you crouched? Look, you're crouched, you fall, and now you're standing. I don't understand. If you crouch, they obviously know you want to stay stealthy. So why not just make you stay crouched? Or make you stand up and then immediately crouch once you hit the ground? Doesn't seem like that would... That seems extremely easy to code in. Doesn't seem complex. Well, this game has some pretty nice lighting. Hey, rat. Lock doors, no obstacle. Ooh, okay. To enter lock picking mode. Then use the mouse to pick the lock. <laughs> okay. Alright, so there's a lock-picking minigame. You must find a sweet spot in each stage to make progress. Note any movement on the visual lock indicator to gauge your location. Okay, okay. Okay, I remember I mentioned about how I actually liked the fact that there was no lock-picking minigame in the first two. Because I usually don't really like minigames. So, we'll see how this one goes. Be quiet, rat. Well, hopefully it'll it'll at least be tolerable. I know, you just told me that. Okay. Um sweet spot is where the movement is the most. Okay, I see I'm looking at the thing in the bottom right. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Okay. That's... That's actually a pretty cool minigame. I kind of like it. must learn to ambush your opponents. One hit from the blackjack and take down. Yep, yep, yep. Strike from behind. Alright. Bash him in the head. Hey dude, what's up? <sighs> and you can pick up bodies. Alright, it seems pretty damn close to the original two thieves. Or the original two thieves. However you'd say that. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. They took so much from the original two thieves. They even took this, too. 
In the original Two Thieves, every time you tried to put a body down somewhere you couldn't, Garrett made one grunting noise. He just, uh, 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 uh. And that's all he said, just that one noise repeated again and again. This time, instead of a grunting noise, he says, uh, uh. And once again, there's only one sound for it. Wow. Sound effects. Sound effects never change. Uh -uh, uh -uh. That's a fucking terrible place to put the body, but okay. I'd read the book, find Lord... Get, get out of my way. Yes, I need to find Lord Get Out of My Way. Front desk. Really? Something's really never changed. Look at all that text. All of that text says front desk. Okay, now this I definitely should be able to put out with my fingers. I mean, it's just a candle. Alright, guest list. Oh, there we go. Lord Julian. Uh, Peony Sweet. See if there's any names I recognize in here. Nope. Alright, Peony Sweet. Lord Julian. <laughs> Wouldn't do to have anyone think he was just Julian. Hmm. I don't know what the hell that cat's doing. I think it accidentally took some cocaine. How come zooming in with my eye sounds like I'm... Like... I don't know, inside of Robocop's body or something? That's a weird noise. But uh, the zoom in is definitely smoother than it was in the first two thieves. And the improved graphics are definitely a uh, are definitely very nice. Especially the lighting. That's really important in a game that's all about staying in the shadows. Yeah, that cat is hyper. I'm gonna stay away from it. Actually, I'm curious, what happens if I go up to it? Is it gonna, like, scream? Okay, it just doesn't give a shit. Oh. Okay, it freaked out for a second. Check your map. Alright. Now this is another thing I'm hoping they changed. Please tell me they made the maps more useful. Because in the first one, they were oftentimes com I mean the first in the first two, the map was oftentimes ninety-nine percent useless. God damn it, it's useless again. Fuck. Uh, all right. Like, really, what? I, I don't... I can't read this. I was just at the front desk, I'm going up the stairs, so I'm going up here, and the stairs take me... where? I don't even know. Whatever. I see loot. Uh, A.K.A. the whole thing boils down to you're a thief, so you should steal shit. Done. Oh, well, apparently that's that's only one percent of the loot in this place. Damn. And that's a picture of a happy grinning pirate.
Oh yeah, it's R to go up against walls. Stand close to the wall and press R. Um. Does it not work when crouched? Yeah, it doesn't work when crouched. Interesting. That's actually really, really cool. That is really cool. Look at that. I mean, if you have a tiny shadow like right here. There we go. Nice. Now that does add to the fluidity of movement that I was talking about. Or maybe not just movement, but, you know, the... How easy it is to do things you'd expect a thief would do. Like a thief that's meant to stay in the shadows to remain unseen would totally be able to go up against a wall. Like this. That's very cool. Alright, well so far uh, I'm kind of liking this. There's some pretty cool new features. I hear you. Hi. Alright, but the guard is in your way. You can distract him by using a noisemaker arrow. I don't really want to. Oh, but it's a tutorial, so I have to. Shoot it down the hall and run towards the... Uh, he'll run towards the noise to investigate. Okay. All right, go get it. That's not a. What's that noise? Training successful. It's gonna close this door. I'm sure he won't notice that, right? Not everything you pick up will be used for a valuable. The item you just picked up can only be dropped or thrown. Oh, I guess, yeah, the stuff that's actually worth something has, like, a glint to it. Like that one. Oh my god. Okay. Enough text, man. Sometimes things don't work as, as expected, blah blah blah. Lord Julian is not here. And neither is the bag you're trying to steal. Find a clue. Okay. So, find out where he is. Pretty simple. My friend and honored Lord Julian, I will meet you in the Lancaster room tonight. I trust you'll be mindful of the risks involved and be generous. Morris the Cook. His lordship has gone for a walk. Can't have gone far. Alright, Lancaster room is there, wherever there is. Oh, well I guess that's telling me where it is. I'm not sure how I feel about that glint on the loot. Obviously it makes it easier to see, but isn't part of... But isn't that part of... the fun of the original Thieves, is trying to find the loot? Bless you. I remember there were even times when you had, like, golden cups amongst cups that were not golden. So you had to be really careful and really pay attention to what you're seeing to figure out what you can loot and what you can't. So I don't know if having the loot glint is a good idea. It seems a little bit too simplified. I like having to find it. Oh my god, this text! 
Lord Julian is sitting here, sitting near the fire, talking to someone. His purse is right next to him. Sneak up and steal the purse without it being seen or heard by anyone in the room. When you've got it, proceed to the kitchen. Stick to the shed. Yeah, okay. Five picked men. My lord. Five picked men with me, and we cut our way through. He's your cousin, lord. I wonder Come that through, my shaft through. was closer by a thumb's width. The bloodline noble should rightfully be mine. If I may, my lord, I'm not here. I know the castle. Well, you're a cook. What could you know? Every evening after sunset, the supply wagon comes through that gate and into the courtyard. And no one looks twice. Arrange for your men to be inside one evening. And then, cut our way through. Five good men against twenty. And my accursed cousin. My lord, listen. There is a passage leading into the castle from the courtyard. I can open it for you when you give me the signal. The torch in the lion's head sconce. You must put it out. The lion's head torch. Yes. And when I reach the vault and hold the bloodline opal, I will take my place as head of the family. The Lady Elizabeth will be waiting. Even now she'll be flattering him, giving me time to return. Only the medallion is the only key, my lord. You must keep hold of it. You forget Lord Ember has another. I hear he guards it with his life. My lord, I wish only for peace in the household. The opal is mine. I won that bet, Morris. I won it. Um, okay, apparently it just spawned an enemy partially in the floor for the purposes of the tutorial. Wow, very elegant. Good job, game. Sometimes, even a careful thief gets caught, you can always fight if it comes to that, but then you should never make a getaway, try to toss... Oh, flash bomb. Sweet. Use F1 to select the flash bomb, and... Wait. Are you serious? I press I to throw it? What? Hold on. Hold on. No. No. F1 is not going to be the key for a flash bomb. It is going to be F. Because that's sensible. And F1 is not. Nothing else is bound to F, is it? Nope. F. And what the fuck is use item? It's I? The hell kind of a key is that? That's, that's insane. Why not just make it right mouse like interact is? Unfortunately, I can't have two things bound to the same control. So... Ooh, you know what? I wonder if maybe this game will recognize mouse 4 and 5. Unlike the other games. Let's see. God damn- oh, fuck. It does not. Damn it. It does recognize center mouse. Hmm. It's kind of a weird key to press. What about alt? Is anything on alt? Nah, let's use alt. I don't like pressing the center mouse. Okay. Ah, it's I saw that. Oh, my eyes! They're burning! See ya! Thank you for more text. Proceed to the exit area to complete your final objective. Close Thanks. Guards, but I've still got the goods. Something funny going on? Okay. Well, that tutorial was incredibly hand-holdy and obnoxious. But I'm actually impressed with a lot of the features in this game. So, hold on just a second. Ugh. Okay. This might decide whether I play the game or not. Because if it crashes every single time I start a new mission, then fuck this. If it ends the recording every new mission... Uh, I'll probably still play it, but I'm going to be very annoyed. So, please, please don't crash. Please, thief. Please, can you do this for me? Can you do this one thing for me? 
Here we go. Nothing like mixing in society, especially if it comes with good loot. The velvet bag turned out to hold a bronze medallion stamped with a griffin. Valuable enough, but more interesting was the conversation I overheard between Lord Julian and the cook. Especially the part about a huge opal and a conspiracy for stealing it. I'd hate to have anyone but me get a stone like that. But I need a better idea where to start looking. If I show the medallion to my fence, I'm sure he'll know more. Heartless Perry always does. All right, so I've got a hot lead. <laughs> let's check the stats. Let's see what they track. Time, loot stolen, 75%. Time's caught. Okay. Now, is this... Is this what I have right now? Like, where do I go to buy stuff? Oh, I guess I don't have any money yet. Okay. Continue is going to start a new mission. Here we go. Please, don't crash. Oh my god, it didn't crash. Oh, it's working. fence take a look at Lord Julian's medallion. Perry says the crest belongs to the Rutherfords, one of the oldest so-called great families with a castle in South Quarter and a street named after them. They've got a lot of wealth and a nasty reputation for turning on each other. Based on that conversation I overheard, Julian is definitely carrying on the family tradition. Lord Ember, Julian's cousin, currently resides in the castle and Julian wants revenge. Julian had a good plan. Hide inside a supply cart and ride in after dark. Then signal the cook to open the side door by putting out the lion's head torch in the courtyard. It was a good enough plan for me to use myself. That bloodline opal sounds valuable. And it's better off with me than sitting around in their vault. But I can't get lazy. Ember will have his personal guard and doubtless a few other family tricks in store for anyone who comes after the opal. All right, well, it looks like when I pressed start before, the only thing it did is play a movie. It didn't actually load a level. So it's possible the game's still going to crash. I guess this will be the real test. Anyway, right, let's check the difficulty. Hmm, well, I'm just going to leave it on normal. I wonder if I should turn it on hard. Do not kill any non-combatants. Wow, that's hardcore. Although that's something that I do anyway. Nah, I'm just gonna set it to normal. Alright, get inside. Get inside, steal the stuff, and then leave. Pretty simple. I still have no money. But I've got a health potion. Uh, jeez, I have eight flash bombs? Oh my god. Got some arrows. Got a bunch of water arrows. Some noisemakers. Okay. This is the real test. Please don't crash. It fucking crashed. God damn it. 
Okay, then. Well? I really don't want to play this game without widescreen. I don't want to play in some low, pixely, stretched fucking resolution. <sighs> well, I could try an old version of the patch. And see if it behaves differently. Alright, yeah, I'm not going to give up just yet. I'm going to try that. So, I'll be right back, hopefully. Well, by the gods, installing the older version of the patch actually worked. I can't believe it. It, it worked. I think my technical issues are over. Yeah, I did. I started a new mission. I loaded it up, and it loaded just fine. So, whew. Okay, I think I can actually play this game. Although I am pretty sure I am going to have to start a new recording every single time I switch over to a new mission, because it, it kind of like minimizes the game right before it loads the next mission. It's really weird. It's bizarre. Anyway, so I've just started like the first five seconds of the next mission. Um, and yeah, apparently you start right here. You start right at the point where you need to um, put out the lion head torch. To signal the whoever. So I guess you don't actually have to get inside. The courtyard, at least. You do have to get inside of the castle, of course. So, let's go. They doubled the watch. This castle's as old as South Quarter. See the way the stone is? Pulled off an army. Probably has. You really think so? And who knows? It's an old part of town. The streets are all different here. Not like Aldale or Stone Market. Ah, what do you know about it? I could have been in the city watch. I knew it that well. I could find my way around blind. <sighs> Bet you've seen things. You wouldn't believe it. Saw a rat once as big as a dog. I saw a man, dead in the street, without his skin. Come on, who'd take somebody's skin? Could be... Nah, I won't say it. Nobody knows the whole city. How old it is, how many times it's been built over. Not the Hammerites. Nobody. I just love the noise <laughs> that the uh, zooming in makes. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds like I'm a fucking robot. I will destroy you, puny human. Prepare to die. Pew, 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 pew. Lord Julian was pretty angry. You see his face when he walked out? I wasn't there. Julian's the better man. Oh, don't speak of it. You're a sworn man, fool. I don't like this. Brothers fighting. They'll settle. You'll see. A marriage or a treaty or a, a dancing. Who put that out? It's out. Someone in here. I hope that cook is as good as his word. Oh. It looks like a pathway has opened up for me. I just had a thought. Yeah, just a little too eager. Wishful thinking, I guess. If you can put out torches, can you put out torches in the guard's hand? We're about to find out. Hmm, that didn't work. You can, but not surprisingly, they notice something's wrong. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's not do that. Oh, shit, I just loaded the game and... Really? Okay. Apparently, attempting to load my quick save crashed the game. All right. Well, I guess my technical issues aren't completely over. But... Anyway, actually, I'll take you with me while I load the game. You're staring at darkness, but I'm currently starting up the game. Can you hear it loading in the background? Skipping the intro movies, going to the loading, blah, 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 uh, quick save. All right. Loading it up. 
Well, that's, um... I guess I shouldn't make any... Oh, here we go. I guess I shouldn't make any mistakes, because if I have to load... I guess it's gonna crash. Hope I mean, it's probably gonna happen every time I do it, I'm guessing. I wonder if it would even happen on a normal save. I don't know. Whatever, I guess I just won't make any mistakes. How's it going? Ah, bugger off. Is that... Nah. Mm. Mm, nothing. You know what? It's actually a probably a better idea if I go over there. That yeah, that leads all the way around. I'm gonna do that. I could try to grapple up here, which would be kind of fun. But it's probably a stupid idea. Let me just wait for him to go get past. Bless you. Okay, apparently you can put out the candles. I couldn't in the tutorial. Huh. And I just realized something ironic. Thief 3, the newest thief by far, is far more unstable than the first two thieves. In fact, the first two thieves, as far as I can remember, never crashed, ever. That's strange. And we are in. I got a health potion. All guards take note. A portcullis has been installed in the basement in front of the Ruthford vault as added protection for the bloodline opal. Only Lord Ember has the ability to open the portcullis. That's how it's pronounced, right? Portcullis? I think so. Lord Ember expects his cousin Julianne, uh, Julian to try for the gem soon. Be on watch for anything suspicious. Alright, so the guards are on high alert. What does this do? Uh... What did that just do? Hmm. New note. New note. Oh, the vault is in the basement. Well, yeah. Is the guard on the top bunk? Where's Piggy? <laughs> what? Oh no, he's somewhere in there. Ooh, hello. We gotta do do a little bit of lock picking. Too many snakes. Where's 
piggy. Yeah, that lockpicking minigame is actually really cool. I, that may be the first minigame in any game I've ever really enjoyed. Oh, shit, I did not mean to pick that up. Oh, God. Uh, please put it down silently. Snakes. <sighs> that was close. Where's Piggy? All right, can you listen in? What? I think you can. Snakes. Where's Piggy? I did hear footsteps. I think it might actually work. Hello there. Uh, I think he's going to turn here next. Yep. And the other guard comes when he's facing just this direction. Imagine that. Now's the time. Come here, friend. Alright, time for you next. Yes. Oh, hello. Ooh, let's let's try this. Ah, <laughs> that is so cool. Oh shit! What's I want your kid Damn it! Right? He's in the hallway. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Not much of a fighter, are you? Okay, that didn't work how I thought it would, and I'm fucked now. So let's test if loading every single time um, breaks it. And now I just realized from that encounter that I should stand up before I before I try to hit them, because hitting them in the back doesn't really work. You need to hit them in the head. All right. Please don't crash. God damn it. Fuck. Every single time I load a quick save, it's gonna crash. Uh, why? Uh. It's starting to make me not want to play the game again. God damn it. All these technical issues. Alright, start it back up. Load the game. So, can I load quick saves at all? Or is it just going to crash again? No, now it's loading. Okay, so apparently you just can't load it. Hold on. Apparently you just can't load it while in the game or something? I mean, like, what the fuck? It loads, but just I have to restart the game first. I don't get it. All right, well, I guess I just have to be extra careful. What's with the friendly bit? Turn the other way, you know you want to. I actually should have stood up there, but I didn't, and I guess I just got lucky. Yeah, this, this, um, leaning up against the wall thing is really cool. It's such a great feature. And it makes it really tense, too, because, you know, the guard's walking right by you. 
Okay. Stand up this time. There we go. I don't think he'll be seen there. He's in the middle of the hallway, but it's completely dark. Yeah, I think I'm good. Oh yeah, what about the map? Wait, is that actually showing me where I am? Or is that just showing me where to go? That's nah, just showing me where to go. And I'm... who the hell knows where. Whatever. Once again, I'll use my... I don't know, my own... perception of the level to try to figure out where to go. You know, I have so many water arrows, I might as well just put out every single torch I see. Strong wind blowing out there. Huh. Fooled myself again. Well, no biggie. flopped around like a fish. That is really satisfying with ragdoll physics. Here, you know, why don't you rest on the table? There you go. Alright, Benwick. Ill news from the city. The medallion's missing. Julian cries treason, of course. Which of the cousins could have done it? Nestor. P.S. If it's you, tell me, and I am with you. It was cleverly done. Well, so far, these lockpicks are really easy. They're very predictable. It's like either the right side or the left side. But I'm guessing they get more difficult. I'm certainly hoping they do. But the thing I really like about that minigame is that... It feels... Like, sometimes minigames are disconnected from what you're actually doing. Where, you know, the actions you're doing in the minigame don't really reflect what you're doing in the game world. But in that case, it is actually... I'm sure it's not realistic, but... You know, it's actually so, in some way connected to lockpicking. You know, I'm trying to get it in the right position to get further into the lock. That makes sense. And the other thing I really like about it is that it actually adds an element of skill to getting a door open. So, you know, the more skilled you are, the faster you are, the faster you can get it open. Whereas before, in the first two, in the first two games, it's entirely dependent on whatever, you know difficulty level they set for the lock. So your skill has basically nothing to do with how long it takes to lockpick it in the first two games. But in this one, it does. Which adds an extra element of tension. Good old stacks of money. Cousin. Ember's efforts to protect the opal go beyond reasoning. He has installed a new portcullis in the cellar in front of the vault door. As for the mechanism that control it, my men have searched everywhere with no results. Everywhere but Ember's own chambers, that is. If you find out anything, let me know. Ember readies himself for Julian's return. He keeps his Ruthford medallion always nearby, and not just because of his value in gold. Lady Elizabeth must have sensed what is coming. 
I'm sure you've noted her absence as well. As for us, we must play to whom, uh, to whomever is the victor. Our time will come. Above all, beware. All right, so it's in his chamber, which is <laughs> fuck somewhere. Screw the map. <laughs> That's interesting. I just leaned out and I actually fell. Oh. So unlike in the first two games, leaning actually causes you to move, not just your view. Yeah, you can actually fall off from leaning. Okay, interesting. Oh shit, I'm just back here. I don't want to be here. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I'm getting through there without using a Noisemaker arrow. But... I, I don't know where I am on the map. I could go another way. But, uh, let's, let's test this out, actually. What the bloody... That's not a... What's that noise? Okay, he's spinning around in a circle. Rather than going right. towards it. Still making noises, are we? Fine by me. Okay, that did nothing but piss him off. Great. Wonderful. I got an idea. Make some more noise. It'll help me find you. Okay, that'd be great. Why don't you go go to it? Again? Making all that ruckus, I guess you want to be found. There we go. Now he moved. Gotta figure out where that noise came from. Stop hiding now. Hiding never solved anything. Um, yes it did. It solved many things in the 40 hours I spent playing Thief 1 and 2. What's the matter? You afraid of the big bad guard? Made a run for it, I guess. Knew I heard him and hightailed it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that really is satisfying. Here, why don't you rest in this little alcove? Enjoy. I think this goes to the basement. <laughs> Which, is that where I want to go? Actually, that might be. Yeah, it might be down that I want to go. I might be going the right way. Rutherford Family Vault. That opal is as good as mine. Never mind. I can't do this yet. Alright, so there's the vault. Good to know. Alright, can't quite jump that high. Gotta test the grappling out here while I have the chance. Okay, not bad.
Entity detected. Analyzing. Well, might as well take him out while I'm here. Anyone else looking? Nope. <laughs> Ow. I bet that hurt. Well, in Thief 3, they definitely went easier on the, uh, on the sounds uh, when it comes to sneaking. Because this floor in Thief 1 and 2, I'm pretty sure I couldn't have stepped even as quietly as possible without alerting them. It almost seems a bit too easy. But I guess turning the difficulty to hard would probably... Yeah, that changes their senses, you know, their acuity and all that stuff. So it'd make them hear you more. But, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it on normal for now. Alright, I think I need to go up to get to the chambers. Let me just search around here a little bit more. Nope, already been there. Okay, let's go up. Can you put those things out? Hey, that's not funny. Yes. I can't see. Again. What you doing that? Just a draft. Very windy today. Someone said that there were ghosts around here. Wasting my time. Ugh. Here, why don't you rest on this tiny table? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, that didn't quite work. Um, is his head stuck in the ground? His head's stuck in the ground. That looks painful. Analyzing. Analyzing. Yeah, you know what? I wonder if I should turn the difficulty up. This seems too easy. I mean, the guards seem deaf, and having both of the lights go out in the room and him not even being really suspicious. That's just kind of silly. I mean, they should have made him go on high alert. Yeah, you know, I want to turn it up. Uh, I'm not sure if I can do it while playing. Okay, it, look, it looks like you can't, so I'll just do that at the beginning of the next mission. I'll turn it to hard. All right, let's go upstairs. is that there appears to be a vortex in that tower okay I'm gonna save that for last uh. 
<sighs> Who's there? Seriously? Hit me. Uh, someone Come there? on, that was at his back. If there is. Uh, I'm not a day. Ah! Watch it. You could have hurt me. Phew. Okay, that's a change. Fuck, come back here. You fuck. Shit. Watch it! You could have hurt me! So you can't knock someone out if they're flashed. So the only thing that helps you do is escape. Help! Can't see! Please, don't hurt me. Wait, wait there. Alright, well that's quite a change. I would reload, but it'd probably just crash the game, so fuck it. That's kind of bizarre. In all the ways, this game's been made easier. The flash bomb change actually makes it a lot harder. So the, the flash bomb won't help you stealth. It helps you avoid combat, but it doesn't help you stealth. Because before, you know, if someone, if someone caught you, you could just... Throw the flash bomb down, knock them out silently, and, you know, no one would be the wiser. But as it is, you'd have to kill them to stop them. It's kind of strange. Nestor, I've had the Sergeant at Arms sacked again. The gilded helm you won at the Summer's Day tourney has gone missing. Did Julian take it? It's worth quite a bit, sentimental value aside. Okay, where am I? Oh, I have no idea. But I know I'm not where I want to be. I need to get to his chambers. Wait, this isn't his chambers right here, is it? Courtyard, Lord Ember's Chambers, Inner Quarters. I, I don't even know if I'm in the Inner Quarters. Oh, shit. Okay, apparently, apparently you came back without a guard. Okay. You know, I'm just going to beat you over the head again, right? Uh. Alright, that takes care of that. Yeah, the AI definitely isn't too bright. Alright, let's see what the hell this mist is. Oh, no, don't tell me it has to load it. Please don't crash. Please don't stop my recording. Oh, thank you, you stopped my recording. That's great. And then the game crashed. F fuck. No, I, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. <sighs> I might not play this game. The weird thing is, so far I actually like it. <sighs> I don't know, I'm going to have to think about it. But anyway. There's a significant chance I won't play this game. I mean, I could play it just without any patches, but... I don't really want to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed all of the technical issues so far. <laughs> so, yeah. It's uh, it's interesting. It's not, in some ways, I actually like it quite a bit more than the first two thieves. But it definitely does seem to be somewhat simplified and definitely made easier. And given that I had to enter another loading screen within the same level, I suspect 
probably because it came out on consoles as well, that the levels are going to be much more condensed and smaller. And not as open. That's what I suspect, but... I don't know. So yeah. That kind of sucked. All the technical issues, so... That's great, and I'm not going to promise to be back soon, because it's quite possible I will never play this game again, because it's frustrating the hell out of me. So, goodbye.